Well, tonight the White House is now in talks with the Kremlin about bringing Russian President Vladimir Putin to Washington. The president asked his national security advisor to make those arrangements for another one-on-one -on -one meeting earlier today. The president just met with him in Finland earlier this week. And you might recall that during a press conference after President Trump said he ignored his own advisor's advice about Russia, including the director of national intelligence, well, former Indiana Senator Dan Coats says NBC's own Andrea Mitchell just asked him about what that was like at the Aspen Security Conference. What was your gut reaction watching him validate Vladimir Putin's assessment over yours? Well, my thoughts there were that I uh, believed I needed to correct uh, the record. Uh, for that, uh, and uh, that uh, this is the job I signed up for, uh, and that was my responsibility. Um, obviously, I wished he had made a different statement, uh, but I think that now that has uh, been uh, clarified um, uh, based on his uh, uh, late reactions uh, uh, to this. And so um, um, I, don't, I don't think I want to go any further than that. Coates also addressed Russian meddling in the 2016 election. He says Russia is trying to divide the U.S., and he says they're working to prevent anything like this from happening again. Learn the lessons from the past, put in place the, uh, uh, the things that we need to put in place in terms of making sure that we can guarantee to the American public when they walk in that voting booth and cast their vote, however they cast it, it is a valid vote. It will not be tampered with. And whatever result comes from these elections, is something the American people can have confidence in, that it was not manipulated by anyone. And take a look at this cover tonight that Time Magazine just released. This video here shows President Trump's face morphing into Vladimir Putin. A visual artist created this image following a summit in Finland.